Hello Scrappers, in this video I'll check with you what is inside this shipment. I got this package from Germany to my German address maybe three months ago and today it's time to open it and check what I bought. I always put the price, this is the total price of the goods and shipment on top so when I open the shipment I can somehow calculate, evaluate if I earn any money or not from, from this um, shipment and this purchase. So here we have 41 euro and I already cut this uh, uh, stretch for you or whatever it is on top so I can open this shoe box and let's check together what is inside. Nicely packed I can say. And the other side is better. this aside and let's check together what is here really well packed I mean I, I, I appreciate when people uh, prepare well the shipments and put the two three layers uh, so when you open it I mean it's more or less intact you see nothing is lost let me put the camera on my desk and let's have a look together uh, at the CPUs inside. I think it uh, looks perfectly fine for 40 euro, which is at about 45 US dollars. Uh, green fiber CPUs. You see, really nice gold plating. So yeah, wish fingers look uh, how many they are. Let's check. Uh, four, nine, there are nine. Look at this nice yellowish fingers. Beautiful gold, gold plating on these fingers. I'll put them aside and let's see together what, what else we have. This is a SWOT CPU. This is Pentium. Uh, that's another SWOT CPU. This is AMD. You see immediately the difference. Here you have nice MLCCs, and usually on the CPUs, MLCCs are good quality uh, with nice uh, amount of palladium. Uh, what else we have? We see many RAM sticks. Let's put aside these two sort of CPUs. RAM sticks, most of them are actually this is a good good brand, I think. Uh, 512 megabytes. This is DDR2 and mostly DDR. This one is maybe DDR3. Yes, this is 2 gigabyte uh, RAM stick. Unfortunately, in this condition, I doubt that uh, anyone can trust such a RAM stick to put inside a computer. On top of this, this one you can see it's it's broken. That's about the RAM. Uh, there are also some fiber CPUs. So let's take them. Uh, also, quite a nice yellowish color of the backs of these CPUs. Uh, definitely a less gold in this compared to the uh, brown fiber CPUs, but still uh, not as bad as the modern ones. What else we have here? A couple of more. So these are the green fiber ones. Uh, and one more here. And one more. Quite many. Oh, that looks interesting. But let's first count these fiber CPUs. 5, 10, 13, 14. And this one is number 15. Uh, ah, this is Xeon. This is Intel Xeon. That's why it looks different than the others, than Pentium 4. If you compare them like this, you can see that Xeon has these nice MLCCs on top. And on the other side, they are completely different uh, CPUs. They are for different slots. But this Xeon looks pretty nice. Uh, I Now I think, should I... Uh, scrap it or keep it for my collection. What else we have? 
I'm looking at the pile. We have two black fiber. These are really good CPUs for gold recovery. If you look at the gold plating of the pins, pretty nice. And on top of this, here inside, you have um, gold wiring. So, pretty nice CPUs for gold recovery. The black fiber are one of the, uh, maybe the best from the fiber ones. Let's say it like this. What else we have? Uh, these are modern CPUs. Uh, green fiber with uh, a lot of copper on top. Let's put them aside. Basically, these are super cheap and quite common nowadays CPUs. Uh, I'm not sure if the copper or the gold costs more in them, but uh, you can buy them cheaply. Let's go now to the interesting part. Another Celeron SWAT processor, SWAT CPU. I'll put it aside. Uh, ceramic ones. Uh, let's start with the AMDs. Uh, this is K6 and this is K6. Uh, pretty nice. There is a third one. It's um, another AMD. So, I mean, if you take any of these and compare the gold plating, it's obvious that here is looks completely different and much better. And thicker and... Uh, I mean, cannot be compared at all, especially if you if you take uh, if you if you decide to compare the modern processors, modern CPUs with the ceramic old ones. Uh, so pretty nice gold plating of the fingers here, and gold is there. Uh, I have one Pentium. Usually, uh, difference between the Pentium and this is uh, this on the on on the bottom. You have, if you recover gold, you have to break this um, black lid and under it you can see some gold wiring. So that's the big difference that here inside you also have gold wiring. That's why there is a small difference in favor to the Intel Pentium in gold content compared to these AMDs, this type of AMDs. Uh, we have one card, it's a small. Uh, card. This is a video card, probably for some team client, some server, or I don't know. Uh, just nothing there, nothing interesting. And we have maybe these um, best CPUs of the whole batch. Look at them. Both of them have gold plated lid on the bottom. Uh, phenomenal uh, gold plated legs and the most important is they are in perfect condition nothing is broken nothing is missing pretty much uh, can be used for collection more than for gold recovery and definitely i'll keep them for collection especially this one because for the first time i see such cpu to, from all the batches i ever bought in my life with a small uh, with a small board on top, with capacitors and small uh, ICs. That's pretty interesting. Really, I've never seen such. The other one is standard AMD, 75 MHz CPU, 1996. Uh, quite standard for that time. Windows 95. At the time of Windows 95, yeah, it was one time ago. So, that's everything I got in this batch, and from my perspective, uh, 41 euro is fair price. I can tell you why, because I can sell only these two, two, two CPUs for 25 euro, uh, if I decide to sell them as collectibles. Um, I definitely will get enough gold from the rest of the CPUs, uh, and maybe double the money. I spent on this uh, batch. Thanks for watching, keep scrapping and don't forget to recover your gold at the end. Bye!